Welcome back, Acron fans, to another exhibition match. This is Shadow Fury 3 with a match between Cybernetic Pony and Wobas on Tomb of Heroes, the last match for tonight. And we shall begin, because there's not really much to say about Tomb of Heroes. I casted it earlier today, so I did the introductions then. And Cybernetic Pony in the west side of the map. Wobas on the east side of the map, who is playing Vekir, and not sure how he's going to play out. I have not seen Wobas play in a while, if I've seen him at all. In fact, I've got to check that. Not 100% sure. I should have checked that when I was... In the intermission, come to think of it. Oh well, Cybernetic Pony going out here, and this is probably going to be a map for... This isn't a map for economic play. We're probably not going to see any real rushes coming from Cybernetic Pony. He is going forward with a Special Ops and a Marine, and these two aren't really going to do too much beyond just... Oh, can't do that. They aren't going to do too much beyond just walking forward. They're just going to scout. That's it. That's all they do. Main base going for... Looks like mostly Liquid Crystal RP is actually getting a very quick armory. Getting an additional RP than an armory is a little unusual. At least in a map like this. Now, Wobus, on the other hand, is going for also economy, getting a couple scout units forward, Shin and Tethavir forward, while the Zine Veer stays home and builds up RPs. Perfectly normal on this map. Not at all surprising what we see here. However, what will be interesting is to see what is. Wobas' plan after he gets his 6th RP. This is usually where players start to build up what they're actually going to do. Cybernetic Pony actually getting a factory. 5 RPs in a factory. Cybernetic Pony building up a little bit quicker. Like I said, 6 RPs is typically when players start to do their thing. But at this point it is 6 RPs with the factory kind of interleaved. Or very nearly 7 in fact. Wobas on the other hand, he's about a minute down. 5 RPs so far and probably soon to get a 5th. Soon to get a 6th I mean. Nothing beyond that, though, the... which is not surprising. 130 mark, not much is going to be changed. We'll also wait on that. Wobas is not in fast forward mode, so Cybernetic Pony going a little bit faster, getting an armory and another importer. He is actually going pretty aggressive, getting a Lancer out right away, and with an armory as well, quick machinery is likely in the cards. We have the early resource processor on Q-Plasma, which lends credence to that. And Cybernetic Pony does meet up with Wobas's force to see what species he is. Wobas, on the other hand, does have his 6th RP up on Liquid Crystal, the 2-minute mark. We'll see what he does after that, if he's going to go for more RPs or if he's going to go for getting a quick depot. Against the Lancers, he should just build another Teth Veer. But, of course, that's not going to be all that Cybernetic Pony is going to build. He is, in fact, getting an ATC on top of that. He's walking that in, and... The... Actually, no, just a... Oh, yeah, the Lancers coming in already, and two ATCs following up. Wobat's not even aware of this. He is getting a depot at the 230 mark, or thereabouts. No Q Plasma RPs, though. A little surprising there. Why he hasn't. Okay, there is. Teleporting 1, 2 Q Plasma. Should probably teleport 2. He's going to build a depot right now. Which he could very well do. A little surprising he hasn't done so yet. Cybernate Pony, on the other hand. He's getting machinery at the 440 mark. Or. 430 mark, actually. We'll be getting Tornauts and Tanks likely after that, and pushing forward pretty directly. I think he's just going to be straightforwardly aggressive. Doesn't look like Wobas is going to be setting up any defenses early on beyond just Depot. Fairly typical stuff. So Wobas just seeing the attacks coming in, and Cybernetic Pony is jumping back to the 222 mark when his Scouting Marine came in. Well, Scouting Marine and Special Ops came in. Wobas moving his forces back home. So Cybernetic Pony looks like he's going along the north side, actually. He's going to go around... Wobas' forces go on the north side and see what Wobas is up to, though I think the Lancer and ATC will come in sooner. Wobas, however, does have the depot coming in at the three minute mark. Getting another foundation on top of that, possibly for quick aerial control center, would be a bad idea at this point, only one key PRP. But if he does that, that's what that foundation will be for. Likely for healing, though. That foundation is probably just going to be a healing foundation. I don't anticipate any construction off that. And Saturday Pony, about two minutes up, dealing quite a bit of damage. Wobas now seeing the initial attack from Cybernetic Pony coming in. The Lancer comes in, but there is a Teth Veer in place. Or is there? No, it appears the Teth Veer is not here. Which is a bit of a problem. Not a big problem, the Lancer deals barely any damage. And, I mean, the Zion Veer is the one mainly threatened. However, there is a Teth Veer coming in, and it gets rid of the forces there. And actually, looks like a lot of Teth and Zion Veers coming up. Wobas likely to go for a bunch of Teth and Zion Pulsers very rapidly just drop the Veer class into the depot and turn them into Pulsers. That's likely we're going to see once Wolbass gets the resources for it. The limiting resource in that case is going to be Q-Plasma. 
not liquid crystal so Wobas is going to want to teleport one of these rps over here in liquid crystal to q plasma or build another liquid crystal sorry build another q plasma rp especially being that seven pony is tagging from the north and this rp is a little bit vulnerable Wobas does see this seven pony back at his point of view 325 mark he no oh, this is before he even got machinery moving back quite a bit so looks like lance are coming from the south image are coming in from the north and ATHC is coming in from the west Lancer does see the forces that are already set up to deal with it. And Wobass at that point in time. No, never mind. Jumping back slightly. Not quite got the depot yet, but likely to get a couple of test pulsers in response to this. Actually, this might become a Zion Pulse. Yes, it is. Zion Pulse are being built up. Test Fear doing just fine, however, and that Zion Pulser, is it gonna be sent in? That's what I want to know. Is it gonna be sent in, teleported in, and then from there used for harassment? Because right now, Cybernetic Pony has very little defending his base. Oh, he does, however, have a lot of stuff coming to Wobas's base, so Wobas is going to have to defend against that, which is going to be a problem, at least a very slight one. Now, Wobas going north to respond to Cybernetic Pony attacking from the north with the infantry. Getting to skip teleport a little bit early, though, that's... Or a little bit... Actually, it might be a good time. He's not going to save this RP from being closed, but he is going to still save it from being killed. But it looks like yeah, Lancer coming in. This is for earlier on. This is back to the 327 mark. So I'm point looking up to the 733 mark to see what happens when his Tornads come in, because he is building Tornads, getting a Macrofab as well, that's his plan. Looks like Tanks, Tornads, Macrofab is what we saw last game. Tanks with infantry are likely, that's what's going to happen. That's what's, we've seen, we see that is what is happening. Wobas also checking the present to see what is going on in his main base, and also setting up, just macroing in the present, as I often recommend players to do. I am glad to see that the players are in fact doing exactly that. Let's double check from the observer point of view to see what's happening. Though so Severnate Pony, at the present, he has set up some tanks. And he does have a macro as well, so yes, tanks and tornads. That's what he's building, by and large. And getting armory for infantry as well. So yeah, that's exactly what he's doing, is infantry packed tanks. Now back at the 422 mark, earlier in the past, about three minutes down from the present. Well, four minute mark now, Wobas getting up a Zion Pulsar, the one he had before with the skip teleport. No further units are being built, and Cybernetic Pony is in fact going over to destroy the comm hub to the north. Giving Wobas a lot of time to build up in his main base and actually giving him a fair amount of time to skip teleport inside Cybernetic Pony's base. Though the ATHCs are coming in, that's still going to be a problem. Wobas has to deal with that first. If he can get rid of the ATHCs, then he's going to be pretty much in the clear to attack Cybernetic Pony at this point. Now, Cybernetic Pony double checking, he does have some production coming in 30 seconds from now. But that does give Wobas enough time to kill the ATHC and probably teleport into Cybernetic Pony's base if he chooses to, but I don't think he's going to do that. Jumping back to the present, Wobas is. Built. He has a real control center. He does have a bunch of shin pulsers coming in. Wow. Nero thought one was an odd sight. We're going to have three. I will be curious to see how this works out. I got to be honest, I am not optimistic, but if it does work out, that will be very interesting. Might even prompt a metagame switch. I kind of doubt it, but it will be interesting. Mostly it'll be an abject failure, I think. But hey, we'll see. And Wobas is, in fact, moving forward. Whoa, okay, he's double-checking the North Statue expansion. Nothing here. He doesn't need to worry about that too much. And, actually, this is a good idea. Against, okay, against Cisos, a little bit extreme to attack this expansion, because there's no easy way for them to get there. The North expansion over here, however, is a good plan. Checking what's going on there, that's exactly what he wants to do. However, at this point, it's too late to attack the main base with one Zion Pulsar. Three or four Zion Pulsars would do okay, but one is not enough. And where it is, six minutes in, and is it going to attack the north? It is not going to attack the north. There's nothing really to the north to attack. It is, however, just prepping. I think Wobas is... I'm not sure if he's waiting on this, or he's just focusing on his main base. Now he's getting the aerial control center we saw before. And we'll be building more units up from here. We did see he is getting a bunch of Shin Pulsars, though it looks like some stuff got undermined from the looks of it, or undone. Because... His Shin Bolster construction is not in the timeline, surprisingly enough. Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, he has pretty much the whole timeline set up. Back, the present setting up more Twin Mars and tanks. The tanks all have infantry in them. And are moving forward now at the 912 mark. Cybernetic Pony will likely tear apart Wobas with this attack. I don't see Wobas having enough forces at this point. Given what he's got, given how much he's built in his main base with RPs, he hasn't even expanded all the much. He's lost a couple of RPs in the process. Actually, no, he's teleported them to Q Plasma. I think Wobas might be going for Gate Tech. He is managing to fend off this force here for somebody pointing the initial force. But that's not the real force. The real force is going to be the tanks and Twin Mars that will come in in three minutes. And once those come in, it'll be very tricky to deal with. 
as it stands, Wobas doesn't really have a whole lot of options. Best thing you can do at this point would probably be to get Halcyon class, honestly. Because Halcyon class leaves you can tank the Twin Mars and tanks. And Zion and Halcyons do have enough splash damage to be able to deal with the infantry, no problem. But yeah, Zion Halcyon class is probably the best thing Wobas can do, and he's not likely to do that. I think he's planning on going for Gay Tech, but I really don't know. And Cybernetic Pony has... Well, he's about three minutes away from his main attack. He's not gone for it yet, though, and Wobas... Has he undone everything again? I'm not sure what he's doing, but it looks like he's using undoes, because he's lost all the production orders. He has not gotten gay tech. He has nothing going on here. He's getting skipped teleport, but no units coming in. No tech coming. Okay, gay tech is being built. Or resource, rather. So Wobas is getting gay tech. Still. Gay tech is not going to save him. The only thing that might, might be a skip teleport... Now, even then, Skip Teleport wouldn't really do it. I don't think Cybernetic Pony is going to fall for that twice. Although, it might be what Robust is planning. If he was, though, he should get more Liquid Crystal than just 12. He needs 100 100 to build a Slipgate, and he does not have anywhere near that much. Now, what is he planning on top of that? Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, getting ground units. He, oh, wait, this is what he had before. He has ground units because he has Twin Mars, because he had Twin Mars when we last saw him in the present. He very much has ground units. So, Wobas, up in the present, does he, he has gate tag along the blue time wave, so he has gate tag right now, just getting finished up, and there it is, not sure what he plans to do with it, but he has it, or will, eventually, building up a bunch of units in the present, most of which will be cancelled out, not sure why he's doing that, or nearer to the present, minute down from the past, because gate tag will cancel out the majority of those units, however, he could build a slip gate, and if he builds a slip gate, that will help out. He still has about a minute... No, never mind. Not quite a minute. About 30 seconds or so before he gets attacked. A slip gate can be built. He needs to build one immediately, if not sooner. Right, build one now. Build one here. Before all those units were constructed. But apparently, no. Wobus is not going for that. Not even converting units to do this. He is, in fact, going for a counterattack. Not sure if he realized what Cybernetic Pony was up to, but he certainly does now. And Cybernetic Pony still marching into Wobus's base. While Wobus tries to go for a counterattack... I don't see this as being promising. As you see from the present, Summary Pony does win this assault, and for Summary Pony, I should go to Wobus's point of view when the attack started. The attack starts out, and there isn't really much hope. A little late for a slipgate, I'm afraid. Wobus might decide to build one, though, regardless, but he can't easily do so. He'd have to build one before he builds these units, which would cancel out at least one of them, if not two. I think just one, but still. Wobus hasn't got a lot to work with here. He is, once again, teleporting, actually, teleporting into a really odd spot in this terrace, but only one of the Zion Pulsars is able to take advantage of that, and even then, not by much. Not really much to say about that. Honestly, Arians would work okay against the Twin Mars, but then the tanks would tear that apart. Yeah, not much to really said about this. The, looks like this is probably the best bet for Wobas. He is trying to attack from inside his main, his main defend from here. No Slipgate, however. Teleporting forward, which is not a good idea. Well, it's an okay idea, because it does mean the foundations aren't being attacked, but at the same time... Best you can hope for is the fact that he's, he's nullifying the splash damage from the Martanks, but the Martanks deal so much damage, it hardly matters. And the Zion Pulsars are hitting the forces when they're inside a choke point, but even then, that's not going to make a big difference. Saturday Pony, however, does take a bit more damage than he likely would have otherwise. Still, Wobas about to lose everything. And honestly, what I suggest he should have done... First off, make use of the Aero Control Center. That would have been a big difference. But secondly, or, okay, I guess the tanks would have not made it that big of a difference. And secondly, probably expand a bit sooner. I mean, he... Well, even then, it's hard to say. Scouting out what's going on is paramount. Building response, good response. Like I said, Halcyon class would have been the best idea. Gay tech. Wobas isn't even using gay tech, except maybe for skip teleport. If he got slip get with skip repel, that would have at least helped a bit. Probably a lot, actually. It would have annoyed Cybernetic Pony or anything else. Getting Halcyon class would have given him a much better units for tanking with. I mean, really, that would have that would be the same tech level Cybernetic Pony is at. Would be Halcyon class. Hey, honestly, that would actually deal with this. So yeah, Zion Halcyon and Slipgate would help. I mean, just avoid gate tech entirely. Go for units. You don't go for gate. Gate tech is typically a bad idea unless you have the units to support it. That's the big thing. If you haven't got the units to support gate tech, building gate tech is an easy way to throw away the game because. 
you're investing money into units, sorry, into gate tech that could be units that could stop your opponent's army if they're marching down on you. If you have a bunch of units already, not a big deal, but in this case, there was exactly that happening. The Cybernetic Pony wins this, bit of a short game, but that is that. That is the last game for tonight. I hope you enjoyed that. And that is going to be it for me. So thank you all for watching, everybody, and have a good night.